Greetings, believers, non-believers. Rabbit Ape here. Had a comment on a video. Uh, it's uh, one of these Venom Fang X mirrored things. Please rate and all that good stuff because it I, I posted it because it got flagged and removed off someone else's account. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I was going to just leave a comment, but it, it, I couldn't fit it in 500 characters. So here's a video. And uh, the, the conversation, which I admittedly, it was pretty long. I haven't read every single phrase in there. But it, someone made the assertion that if... Uh, I guess the, the, the discussion was about abiogenesis, which it would be life emerging from non-living substances, which is not the same thing as spontaneous generation. Frickin' look it up. <laughs> yeah, but uh, the, the, uh, the assertion that this person made was that even an idealized laboratory setup, and say you got the chemical constituents that formed the bacteria, separated all of them, but put all that stuff you know, say mix it up or whatever, and then waited to see how long it would take to get a cell out of that. Um, you, you, you'd be waiting around so long, it'd be so unlikely, uh, especially when compared to happening on the Earth. And I guess the assertion is that if, if it would be so hard for it to happen in this idealized setting, what makes you think it would even be possible for it to happen on the Earth? And, and I've got at least one bone of contention with that. Uh, let me emphasize again that I am not a statistician, I am not a chemist, I am not a biologist, geologist, etc. I'm just a guy. But uh, the Earth is a much bigger laboratory than, than anything that any human would be able to set up, like in that idealized situation there. And given that we don't know exactly how the process happened, um, I don't think it's a good statement to say that it would be less likely to happen somewhere on the earth than in that laboratory setting. And I guess as an analogy, um, just taking a coin right here, if I'm looking for a certain ser well, if I'm looking for a certain combination of coin flips, maybe it maybe a dice some dice would be a better example, but say I'm looking for head tail, head tail, head tail, and I'm gonna flip the coin X number of times. The uh, the more times I flip the coin, the more likely I am to arrive at that sequence at some point or another. Like if I only give myself eight flips to get a, a four coin sequence, the arbitrary sequence, then uh, there's going to be a certain chance I get it. If I flip the coin 80 times, the chance is going to be a lot better that that shows up at some point, right? Um, now, as, as a metaphor, I want you to extend that and uh, I guess this doesn't, it's not a very good metaphor because I was talking about a linear sequence of coin flips, but just kind of take that same idea, but instead of flipping one coin over and over again, uh, or say instead of flipping one coin a thousand times, I'm going to flip a thousand coins once. That would be the same, right? It's the same number of flips, uh, but it would happen a lot faster. And uh, so I guess the point I'm trying to make here is rather than trying to imagine how in this one setup in a lab, you would have a biogenesis happen. Um, imagine the whole Earth as being a lab with different experiments <laughs> happening in different places all the time. Because, you know, there's, there's volcanoes and lightning and, and we don't know the exact chemistry of the Earth. And um, so I guess that's kind of it. I didn't write a script for this. I just kind of set the camera up. And so, uh, yeah, I think I'm done. All right. <laughs>